Winner of his two fights since his appearance in the finals of season 14 of The Ultimate Fighter, Dennis Bermudez plans to continue his winning ways by taking out Matt Grice. And here we go. Blue trunks for the Ultimate Fighter finalist, Matt Grice, in the red trunks. Constant movement, super aggressive. Bermudez. Yeah, Bermudez has been working on all aspects of his game, a lot on his boxing. And you see his head movement there right away. He ties up Matt Grice, got him up against the cage. Both men, very strong wrestlers growing up. It'll be interesting to see who has the better MMA wrestling in this matchup. Grice turns it around here. You know, it's, a, it's really fascinating, Mike, how much of a, a big part the cage plays in MMA these days. Grice in the takedown attempt, but he fails and mounts by Great Dennis Bermudez. For Bermudez early. Bermudez also, he has one leg over the shoulder, Mike. Hard to hold the mount in this position, but he has a possibility shots, for a triangle. Oh, Grice is in a lot of trouble here. He's taking some bombs. Going near 25 significant shots landed already. The problem is his right arm is tied up. The way Dennis Bermudez is mounting him, he can't really defend any left hand punches. His right arm is completely locked up inside the legs of Bermudez. He's got to wiggle out the back door, and he does, but Bermudez on top of him, ties him up in a front headlock. 40 significant strikes landed in that exchange. The last victory over Tommy Hayden was by a standing guillotine for Bermudez, but he gets tossed aside momentarily. Yeah, as he was trying for that arm in guillotine choke. Grice had some injuries during his collegiate career, but he was on his way to the University of Oklahoma to wrestle. Good technique used by Grice there on those knees to the thigh. I like how he's dropping the hip down into it, getting some good snap on those knees. Bermudis including his submission of the season on the Ultimate Fighter season 14. Three bonus checks already. Good leg kick by Grice. See a little bit of bleeding from the ear of Grice. Oh, good left hook by Grice. Grice survives the early onslaught of ground and pound. Bermudis likes to throw the big right hand. Both guys throw hard. Nice kick. Grice is mixing up well with his strikes. Good right hand. Nice Absolutely. lead. You can see the head snap back, Joe. Grice with the front head lock and a knee now. Made some distance with that right leg. And now up against the cage is Grice. Just over two on the clock here in the oh, first. Big vicious, strikes again. Vicious elbow and left hook by Grice. This is the best striking we've seen from Matt Grice. And I like how he ducked under the Superman punch there. Another right hand. Bermudez mixes it up and tries to drop one into the body. Oh, oh good my right goodness. hand over the top by Bermudez. Nice leg kick and good jab as well. He followed it up nicely. Yeah, good, good closing in the distance there by Bermudez. The strikes standing were very even until that last exchange. 90 seconds now remain in the first. Elbow to the body. Oh, that other oh, elbow worked good again. Good combination Jeff. by Bryce. Bryce is really doing a good job, and he's got. Oh, my! Vicious left hook! Wow! Bermudez is in all kinds of trouble. He got rocked. And again with a right hand. Bermudez got to get those hands up. Bermudez trying to pressure here. Good knee by Grice. His striking has significantly improved. Yeah, it, it really has. And I think also his confidence coming off of that Leonard Garcia fight. He knows he belongs in there. It's elite competition. Bermuda seems okay, but we'll find out. Matt, he got rocked, Joe. That was a clean, oh, spinning back kick. That was a clean left hook. The kick and the counter. And you know, you gotta think about all the shots he took early in that round. Makes it even more impressive. 15 seconds on the clock. Back and 
fourth round one. Again oh. with the left. The distance and the timing by Grice is outstanding. Action packed round one. Go, sit down. Sit down. Listen, you need more level changes. You're just sitting right in front of him, all right? When you're throwing that right hand, he's looking to counter you with the left hook. I need you to go underneath. That's all he's looking for. He's waiting to load up on that left hand. Don't just sit in front. Movement, pop in that jab. And I am right? uh fight. Fainting. Fake. Fake. Let's fake some of those fucking shots. Okay. Three, two, okay? You're good. Three. Good, good, quick, straight punches. Movement, movement. Hey, let him come into the punches. Good straight punches, baby. Let's do this. Keep blasting. This is about as clean a left hook as you ever see. Perfect placement by Matt Grice. Clang, right on the jaw. The legs completely gave out for Dennis Bermudez. Good recovery by Bermudez, though. Joe, we often talk about that big overhand right putting you off balance, perfectly countered in round one. And what, what a mental boost the performance in round one has to be for Grice. Yeah, I mean, especially considering how disastrous the beginning of the round was for him. 40 got strikes out of there. Like Joe. Yeah, 40 strikes from a mount with his arm trapped. Got out of that and just, oh, clean left hook again. That time to the forehead. Bermudis is tough. This is the best version of Matt Grice we've ever seen inside the octagon. And Bermudez has a hole to dig himself out of. He, he knows he was hurt badly in that first round. Has to say that's a wash. That one's gone. He's got to win these next two. But what he can't do is get over anxious and run into anything. He's got to stay tight and disciplined, which is what Matt Grice is doing. Look at how Matt Grice is holding his hands, the way he's moving, all excellent technique. Look, he just got out of the way of that leg kick. Bermuda's got to settle down, got to relax a little bit. He's being real anxious here. Oh, stiff jab by Grice. And down again. Yeah, that's what I mean by him settling down. A Darce attempt here. He's got to, actually, it's an anaconda choke attempt. Joe, Matt Grice was one of the top college recruits in wrestling. As a passenger, though, he was in a car accident that put him through the windshield and eventually ended his career at that time. Had 12 surgeries. Just an amazing story for him to battle the way he does today. What was the, what was the injury, too? It went through, the, went through the, uh, the windshield and a lot of head injuries. Body was battered up. 12 surgeries. Wow. Just nasty. He was set, as I said earlier, to really compete at a high level at Oklahoma. He's got some bleeding now, Mike, coming off of his forehead. Tough to tell what shot caused that damage. Midway point of the fight and a takedown. Takedown by Grice. First takedown hook scored in, in this He's fight. He's got the back. He's got one hook in. Dennis has got to turn his right arm into him. He's got to clear the body. See how he's doing that with his elbow? He's got to clear the body and turn and face him. And Grice is stopping that by the way he's holding him. There he goes. The bleeding coming from the, the hairline of Matt Grice. You know, Joe, it's crazy because we watch these guys fight so often. You never know what camp all of a sudden things start to click. And obviously it has in this camp for Matt Grice. It, it really has. And I, I think I've got to put a, two things to it. One, dropping down the featherweight, which is a good weight class yep. one. And the victory over Leonard Garcia. Obviously the hard work is paying off inside the gym, though, because this is the best Matt Grice we've ever seen. Nice leg kick and good clean left hook. Bermuda just does not seem comfortable. He just does not seem like after that disastrous first round, he's got his foot footing back under him. Doesn't mean he can't still win. Correct. We're always just one swing away from victory. 
but it just Grice just seems to have his timing a little bit better. And you know what I like is the way he's moving just out of the range of these kicks and punches. Round two advantage, Matt Grice. Significant strikes landed. Total have been 66 Bermudas, 40 for elbow Grice. over the top by Bermudez. Keep in mind it was about 40 to nothing early with the ground and power. Yeah, you can't compare that to that clean left hook. Oh, that absolutely not. Landed. Dennis is staying aggressive, though. I mean, he's, he's constantly pressuring Grice here. I mean, he got blasted more than once in this fight thus far. Grice trying to control the hands. And now he's looking for another takedown. Oh, Stop that's a knee, but, but that's a knee to a downed opponent in the head. That's an illegal technique. Grice's hands were down on the mat. I think they touched gloves because Bermudez was apologizing for it. Absolutely, and Herb Dean was right there looking at it. And that was a left hook to the head that caused the choke, excuse me, caused the uh, the cut. As he goes to this choke here, final seconds of the round though. Armin Guillotine rolls looking hard for it. Go, deep breaths, deep breaths. Sit down, deep breaths, relax, listen to me. Okay, you need this round, all right? You gotta go for it, okay? But under control, understand? You go for it, but under control. The way you finished out that round was beautiful. Do not just kick, okay? We need our hands. Let's use our hands. He's a little tired, Dennis. Let's go. He's tired. Level changes, three, two. You gotta just put him in a little quicker. Just be quicker to the punch and you're good. Look for your overhand right also. He's hanging his hands now. But get on that jab. Use the jab, use the jab, start fading. You get him near that cage, drop like you're going for your takedown. Championship round right here. Don't stop, don't relax. In the corner of Dennis Bermudez, they talked about the hands of Matt Grice starting to drop. And as we got a look at that knee thrown, which was potentially illegal in between rounds, it did not connect. Yeah, he, he clearly pulled back on it. It was tough to see from our angle, but that's why they were touching gloves. I think he was saying sorry for even attempting it. Good right hand over the top by Bermudez. Good up and over. Yeah, look He's at this. Oh. Trying to finish this fight. Bermudez comes out storming here in the third. Bermudez has him hurt, Mike. And that's the same ground and pound. Vicious ground and pound by Bermudez. Wow. He's got to maintain his top position. This is his big opportunity. He can't let this guy up. Battle, Joe. <laughs> it's an awesome fight. Yeah, I know. Fight, fight. He's got that right You're arm tied up in the I'm left fine. arm. Excuse I'm me, tied fine. up nicely. Keep that overhook and land those left punches. It limits him to one hand attacking, though, Mike. Well, the one thing he can do is legs. he can slip that darts choke in there. See where his, his, his right hand is? Under the chin with the right hand. As he's throwing these punches, clamp down with that left over the back of the head. These are connecting, though. Well, he's lost a lot of esteem in his left hand. Absolutely. And this has given Grice a bit of a chance to recover. Watch that downward elbow, Bermuda's Matt. Bermuda's looking to complete the single. Grace warned about the angle of those elbows here in this clinch position. Oh, oh left hook almost again. caught him with the left. Bermuda likes the uppercut. I tell you what, man, Bermuda uh, is him again. Animal. Oh, he's doing everything he can to win this fight. Man, the uppercuts are working so well. And again. Oh, he's hurt. Now to the body. Uppercut. Oh. Grice trying to remain standing. Nice knee to the body. Now Grice is hurt big time. Oh, oh, look at that. Herb Dean almost stopped it there. Almost. And another one. Grice caught the kick. Can he complete the takedown? From here, a quick look at the clock. Here in Anaheim. Dennis Bermuda 
Edwards was so close to stopping that fight. Herdeen stepped in and changed his mind. If you were in Dennis Bermudez's corner, what he has done so far in this fight was everything you could ask. He threw caution to the wind and attacked. And it becomes now a matter of how hurt is Matt Grice and how much does Dennis Bermudez have left? Oh, vicious uppercut! Left that kick. uppercut has landed continuously. He spins and misses. Wobbly once again here in the third. Relentless pressure this entire round by Bermudez. Yeah, Bermudez is doing everything within his power to try to stop this fight. And this is this is about as close to stopping a fight as you can get and still survive. He's still trying to battle with the clinch. Herb Dean watching very closely. As you mentioned, he almost stopped it about a minute ago. And Dennis just looked up at the clock to see how much time he's got left. See if he tries to work another uppercut. Oh! Left hand by Grice. And a spin. Nice job by Herb Dean. Counter left. Yeah, Herb Dean is about as good as you can get. Double under hooks for Grice. And a right on the exchange. What an Matt exchange! Now swinging away. What a battle! Front kick to the body. Grice is hurt! What a fight! And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, Grice, 29-28, Bermudez, and 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Dennis Tremendous Bermudez! I'm here with the winner, Dennis Bermudez. That, Dennis Bermudez, that is about as close a fight as you can get, and what a third round you got hurt bad with that left hook tell us what you were thinking coming into that third round uh coming in the third round i knew he was tired you know had to push a hard pace and just stay on him he was belting me but you know i was getting hit anyway so i might as well throw back you know and that's what i did it was an incredible incredible fight it was an honor to call thank